99 pros, but a bridge ain't one. Hit me. Oh, what is going on, everyone? We're back on the water. We're doing something a little different today. We are actually down in Choke Canyon. Um, we have not done lake fishing really ever. We're mostly river people. Um, but because we are now registered with a motor, we felt the need to come out to a lake, see if we can get into any fish here. It would be exciting if we saw a few alligator. Fingers crossed today that I have better luck than we did on the two day stretch down the Colorado River. If you guys haven't seen that yet, I'll go ahead and link it above. Give that a watch. We caught a, well, Brayman caught a, a whopper of a catfish. But, gonna get all rigged up, get you guys thrown on the GoPro. Oh, we have a tailwind. I'm gonna go hit those this tree line. It looks shallow. It's gonna say start with a moving bait with this wind. You gotta play the wind. Do you want to go up in there? I feel like we should check that out. Yeah, here's a bed. You see a bed? Yeah. Is there anything on it? Yeah. A pass? Yeah. I don't think he's locked though. You think this would be frog killing territory? It doesn't have to be lilies. Oh, there's a gar right here. I could scoop this guy up. All right, well y'all wanna go hit the main lake again? Yeah. All right. First spot's a bust. Real windy today, folks. Kind of unfortunate. We're headed upriver. So we stopped at this first little outcropping, but seems to be a lot of gar, not a lot of bass. Seen a few on beds, but none that were locked. If we could find one and put together a pattern, <laughs> that'd be great. Oh, there's one on a bed right here. Yeah. Damn, he just zipped. Not locked. Not at all. I'm gonna go back up in here and research. And maybe get that guy on the way back down. Dude, there was a huge one over here. There's a lot of beds right here. All right, so in that cut, there was two or three beds, so I'll be back. I need to put something a little different on, like a Texas rig. The jig is not working. Did you put yours on a Texas rig? Yeah. You should definitely wacky yours and see which one works the best. I, don't know if I, have, a, I have a wacky rigged hook if you need one. Got one. He's pretty small, but he wanted the Senko real bad. So bad in fact that it's, I think he ate it. 
Yeah, I don't have it anymore. Dang it, you jerk. Thanks for playing, friend. I caught a fish! I don't have to retire. He jumped right into my boat. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut the line on this guy. I don't wanna hurt him. He just ate it real deep. No, I'm just gonna leave it in his gullet. It'll rust out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna let him go. He should be fine. Five? Yeah. Yep, you're a little fast. You're one click quicker than me. Are you going full speed? Yeah. Alright, let me come through and see if I can outrun y'all. Surely you can. I mean, <laughs> haven't we already confirmed that you can? Not on Cody's. No, oh, I mean, yes, you're faster than I. And here's why we invested in motors. We're just zipping around. No issues at all. This is great. Froze them and then put a string on them? Yeah. Was that Jackass or CKY? It was one of the two. I mean, it was the same guys, but they definitely froze an insect. His van podcast? No. Oh, yeah. You got oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's big. Get out of here. Yeah, boy. He's digging. Come on. Get tired. Come on, buddy. Get tired. Come on. Turn around. There you go. Woo! Yeah, baby! Woo! There we go. On the Senko. Man, that looks like it's like 19 yeah. inches. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> He's doing it in there. <laughs> we'll get some measurements on him. <laughs> He's 19. Exactly? Yeah. Nice. Let's get a measure or a weight on him. Three point one three. Nice, hey. dude. Thanks for playing, old girl. Badass, dude. Awesome. 19 inches. Woo! Dude. Not bad. Three and a almost four pounder. Well, that was exciting. I finally landed a decent fish. Not only a decent fish, I finally landed a fish. I spent two days on the Colorado River not catching anything, so. Having a good time out here on Choke Canyon. The weather isn't 
I don't know, but whether you call it ideal or not, overcast, there's a lot of wind, but not too bad because the banks are keeping us kind of covered by wind. But we're headed back down. We ended up just going up the river, which seemed pretty good. There's a lot of fish on beds. None of them seem to be super locked, but I'm kind of meandering back down. I'm gonna hit a few of these beds that I saw earlier today. Let's see if we can get any of them to commit. Fingers crossed. So there was like two or three beds that had actual fish on them. So we're gonna go investigate this time. I have a different setup. Came through with a jig last time and it wasn't the ticket. I got a wacky rig sink up, so. First one. weightless Senko, there's no weight to it. I need to get... I had seen two, this might be the male. There's two beds back here I'd shown y'all. Let's let this, I don't know. Ain't nothing better than calling your shot. Showed you guys those two beds earlier today. I knew the rig I had set up wasn't correct. Put a Cinco on and pfft, they couldn't, they couldn't deny it. Alrighty folks, we're out of here. What a decent day, I suppose. It was windy as hell, uh, but the motors made life a little bit easier. Always fun fishing new waters and that was extremely new for us. We ended up just going up the river um, and there were bedding bass and there were a lot of feisty little critters up there. The hydrilla was out of control so it was tough to weed through the hydrilla but managed to catch a decent amount. The uh, biggest bass was almost four pounds, 3.13 I believe. Great day though. If we could get, uh, I think the 80s and 90s are coming for us next week so if we can get more of those days I'm pretty excited for our next kayak camping trip gonna get back home and we'll see you guys on the next one thanks for watching see y'all later